Learning how to learn is the ultimate superpower, the one that makes every other skills and ability possible. And teaching this to you is the goal of this book, Limitless. Limitless is a blueprint for upgrading your brain for learning how to learn faster, better and more effectively. This book is written by Jim Quick, who today is world famous trainer, having trained highest paid CEOs to Hollywood stars. But Jim was not always like this. After a head injury as a child impaired his focus, concentration, and ability to learn, he was labeled as the boy with a broken brain. Jim spent his life learning how to overcome and heal from this injury and turn his challenges into a superpower of learning. He transformed his life and is now on a mission to impact the lives and learning of people across the world. Hi Booktokers, welcome to your channel Booktok, where I introduce you to the finest books and transformational ideas from world-class thinkers, experts and achievers. If you are new to this channel, do press that bell icon and subscribe and share this with your friends because in one short video you get to learn what others may take months, years or even a lifetime. Jim says the key to living an exceptional life is a process of unlimiting ourselves and he has cracked the code for personal transformation with his limitless model. If you are struggling to reach a goal in any area, you must first ask, where is the limit? Most likely, you are experiencing a limit in your mindset, motivation or methods. And there are ways and means by which you can move over these limits and become limitless. How do these limits work? A limit in your mindset. You entertain a low belief in yourself, your capabilities, what you deserve or what is possible. A limit in your motivation. You lack the drive, purpose or energy to take action. And a limit in your methods. You are taught and are acting on a process that is not effective to create the results you desire. Let's see one by one some specific ways to overcome the limits in these three areas. Think of a young elephant tied to a stake in the ground. When it's a baby, the elephant isn't strong enough to pull the stake up. So it eventually stops trying because it learns the effort is futile. As the elephant grows, it gains more than enough power and strength to pull out the stake, but it remains tied up by something as inconsequential as the rope and a flimsy piece of metal because of what it learned as a baby. That's how our beliefs limit us. How do we overcome limiting beliefs? Listen carefully. Every time you find yourself using phrases like I can't, I'm not or I don't, you're sending messages to yourself that are affecting how you think about your life. Question these beliefs. Let's you feel and know you're really terrible at public speaking. Think about your experiences speaking in public. An extraordinarily common fear by the way. Rather than focusing on how you felt in these instances, consider how things went. Were you booed off the stage? Did people come to you afterward to laugh at you and tell you how awful you were? Did your boss sit you down the next day to say that you might want to consider a career where you never have to utter a word? And then there's this question to ask, how much of my perceived poor performance was because of my self-talk just wouldn't leave me alone? This is the real issue for money people. They will be in the middle of doing something in which, in which they lack confidence and the inner critic will become so distracting that they can't focus on what they are doing and therefore don't do it very well. Well, what to do about it? Look for small successes and congratulate yourself. Write them and relive them again and again. Behavior creates its own proof and solidifies the new belief. Slowly and surely you will create new beliefs. Remember, this is a lifelong process, but replacing limiting beliefs with limitless beliefs is liberating. Let's come to motivation. What is motivation? Motivation is a set of emotions, painful or pleasurable, that act as a fuel for our actions. Where does it come from? Motivation comes from purpose. 
fully feeling and associating with the consequence of our actions or inactions. You can boost your motivation by doing a simple exercise. List down all the disadvantages if you do not take the actions that are needed to reach your goals. For example, you could write, I will have to keep studying hard and settle for same mediocre grades or job or I won't be able to spend time with my loved ones or I won't get that raise. The key is to make sure you feel the emotions. Don't make this an intellectual thing. We make decisions based on how we feel. Really feel the pain that you will have if you don't do something about it. This is the only way for you to make a change last and get you follow through. Now, here's the more exciting part about motivation. Write down all the benefits and advantages you will receive from learning the skills that you want to learn. Make a list of things that will really get you excited and motivated. For instance, I'll be able to ace my tests have more time to be with my family, start that business and learn new languages to travel the world. Or I will have more free time to exercise and get healthy, to go away from spring break and to spend more time with my boyfriend or girlfriend. Or maybe something simple like I will finally have some free time to just get caught up and relax. Jim also suggests eating brain enhancing foods to keep your energy high. Finally, let's come to methods. Methods are ways of doing things that help you to focus, memorize and think clearly. I made videos on all these topics with specific tactics to improve these aspects. Make sure to check them out. This was all for this video. Hope you found this useful. But as with any idea, they work best when applied. So do apply and see how it works for you. Do share if you want book summary and tactics from any particular topic or book. See you in the next video where we will continue this quest to learn from the best. Till then, have fun and be limitless.